Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode. So today I'm in Lackford Lakes in Suffolk. Uh, it's quite a gloomy day, as you can see. But we'll uh, try and find what we can and uh, show it off in the best way possible. So let's get to it. So I got to this beautiful reed bed by turning right outside of the visitor centre and this is along Kingfisher Trail. It's the blue coloured trail on the map. And yeah, unfortunately there wasn't really any wildlife um, showing at all here. Um, I mean I waited around 10 minutes or so, 10-15 minutes. Um, apart from one reed bunting uh, which just flashed by, there wasn't really anything there. So I decided to come away from that viewpoint and made my way to Double Decker Hyde D, which is the next hide we come across. I sat around in Double Decker Hyde uh, for around 15-20 minutes or so, uh, but I soon realised most of the wildlife was quite far away, uh, sort of in the vicinity of Bernard's Hyde, um, so that's where I decided to go after around 20 minutes. Um, there seemed to be a lot going on around that side, which is to the left here, and on my way there, I got some beautiful footage of a robin eating a worm. Amazing.
So after leaving Bernard's hide, I made my way across this bridge on the footpath that led to Paul's hide. Um, I sped this uh, footage up a little bit, um, just because I do normally like to have a slow approach to uh, new terrain, checking all the sort of nooks and crannies for wildlife, then looking around corners, um, there's Paul's hide sign, and yeah, I'm also checking branches, any sort of silhouettes I can see. Uh, there's a body of water there, that's the sailing lake. Uh, then on the right, um, that's, that body of water is called the slough, and uh, that's what Paul's hide overlooks. So if I do see any kingfishers, I'll let you know later on in the video. I've got to keep you in suspense, seven my people. But yeah, it was a bit of a gloomy day, but uh, I still had high hopes. Um, yeah, still look beautiful. And, you know, we can just work with it anyway. And this is the beautiful view from Paul's Hide. This is viewpoint B. Uh, yeah, a lovely big body of water and uh, plenty of wildlife in the distance.
So after being in Paul's High for around an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I decided to make my way to Fuller's Mill Hyde, which is Hyde E, and just beyond that is Bess's Hyde, Hyde F. Um, so you take a beautiful walk through woodland, cross another lovely bridge. Um, I made sure to check just below the bridge, see if there was anything there, both sides of course. And no, nothing, so we decided to move on. But yeah, the reflections are beautiful, with all the trees, branches sticking out, just made for really lovely reflections. But anyway, so this path uh, takes you to four more hides, and those hides are Fuller's Mill Hide, Hide E, Bess's Hide, F, Derek's Hide, G, and Stegall's Hide, H. But before we get to Fuller's Mill Hide, there's a beautiful little, almost secret, but I think the secret's out now, a uh, really lovely sort of fallen log uh, where they put bird seed and you can get really beautiful sort of intimate shots of uh, woodland birds such as um, grey tits, blue tits, nuthatch, um, get robins in there I've, I've even seen a pheasant in there as well which was quite nice um, but yeah you get a really intimate sort of close up to some woodland birds there I was really hoping for a nuthatch um, I've seen them pretty much almost every time I've been there um, but typically when you're filming things tend to not go to plan so I was kind of hoping for the best and expecting the worst as uh, that's what they say when it comes to filming but anyway uh, yeah so just over this bridge just checking the trees just in case anything's up there uh, yep another lovely little stream um, but yeah just over this bridge to the right is where you'll get the beautiful little intimate encounters with the woodland birds so uh, that's where we're heading now and hopefully I get that nut hat shot that I've been after we shall see
so after watching the nuthatch footage several times just to make sure it was perfect I then made my way through Ashkar uh, towards Fuller's Mill Hyde through some beautiful tall woodland and I heard woodpeckers in the distance the buzzard flew overhead a bit too fast I literally looked up and he was gone so uh, unfortunately I couldn't get that on uh, on camera but uh, yeah so I just um, looked around it was really really muddy so I was really really glad I wore my wellies and uh, yeah didn't have to worry about where I stood which is always a bonus when you're looking for wildlife to Fuller's Mill Hyde. I had high hopes, but unfortunately all I saw was a little egret in a tree and a grey lag goose. Still lovely to see, but um, kind of expected to see a bit more. It is a lovely habitat, lovely body of water. So that's where I'm going to end this video guys. Uh, so this is part one. Part two will show the concluding parts of wildlife that we saw at Lackford Lakes and it was just a lovely day of adventure looking for wildlife and just enjoying the beautiful beautiful outdoors that this wonderful nature reserve provides.